So it's been a minute, guys. Um, I'm here. I'm not dead. I've just been a little burnt out, and I've been doing some other stuff, which I will uh, make a little announcement in the middle of the video about. But I know why you're all here. It's for the album reviews. And I will be reviewing two albums that came out yesterday uh, that I, I, I was jumping at the gun to listen to. So let's just kick us right off with um, my, my, the first one I listened to out of these two that I was more excited about, Paramore's This Is Why. Their sixth studio release, and my god, is it great. Um, it, I, 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 I've heard people say that, that they liked it, but they just weren't like that enthralled with it, and I sort of get that. It's very much, it's very much an Arctic Monkey situation from last year. Uh, they they both put out these albums that, depending on who you are, you either really loved them or you really goddamn hated them. Both of them put out these albums, uh, 2017, 2018, respectively. And then they put out their newest album, which was sort of like an extension to that album. Sort of same idea, but just different concept. Uh... And it, depending on who you were, you either really heavily compared it to that last album and thought, man, this is great, it's not the last album, or man, this sucks, it's not the last album. Or you looked at it as its own piece of music and thought, man, this is great, it kind of sounds like the last album, that might be why I like it. Or, man, this sucks, it kind of sounds like this last album, that might be why I hate it. Um, but I really like it. I think it's a great album. Uh, do I think it's anywhere close to After Laughter? Hell no. Do not get me misconstrued. After Laughter is still the better record, far and away. After Laughter does not have Sest Kon Ka, or however the fuck you say it, with the na 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 and the fucking annoying chorus, and Big Man Little Dignity, which is the most forgettable Paramore song since the interludes on their self-titled. Um, but After Laughter does not have the absolute gut punch of an intro that is This Is Why. Uh, I love Hard Times. I think it's a phenomenal song, but this is the better lead single by far. Uh, this is why is just in your face on the chorus, and it, it exudes Haley's great vocals, but then in, on the chorus, it just kind of gut punches you. This is why I don't need the house. You said it, like, and it, 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 it's very groovy. Um, I like the sort of crowd work vocals, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's a very nice track, I think. Well, not nice, but a very cool track. Um, I will say some of my favorite tracks on this album are Figure Eight and Thick Skull and Liar. Um, Thick Skull and Liar sort of sound like extensions from one another, but Thick Skull more showing off Haley's vocal performance and Liar more showing off Haley's emotional performance. Uh, and then Figure Eight is just a fucking bop. Uh, it goes hard as shit. Um... <laughs> Tracks like Running Out of Time, The News, and You First, I think are good. I didn't think they were amazing. There's nothing particularly running at me, jumping at me to come back to them. But that that's not anything against it. That's just me comparing it to the rest of the record, seeing what Paramore does do here versus those tracks, which I do like. There's nothing bad about them. They're just not as great. Uh, the highs aren't as high on those tracks, you know? Um, I, I really do enjoy the percussion all throughout. Uh, Zach Faro is to thank for that, as well as a little bit of Haley. Um, he does a fantastic job. I, I like the, the vocals, of course. Haley is a goddamn genius. And I love the guitar work on this, especially on This Is Why, the lead single. I, I love it. I love that melody too, it, just, it sticks in your head, you know? Uh, I, I don't have anything more really to say about this record. It's great. Um, if you're looking for something that's going to top after laughter, don't listen. But if you're looking for a new Paramore album that kind of sounds like after laughter, but it's still an evolutionary advancement from that, this is, this is what you're looking for. Uh, overall, I think I'd give This Is Why an 8 out of 10. Um, but, now my announcement, um, I have been a little burnt out, but I've also been working on a musical, 
and I'm happy to say I'm just about to start casting on this musical for a cast album, uh, a cast recording, if you will. Uh, I'll give you more details as soon as I get uh, more further along in the process, but yeah, I, that's that's what's been taking up my time recently. Not as much listening to music, more as much working on musical. So yeah, but enough about me, let's talk about Pierce the Veil and their new album, The Jaws of Life. First of all, I want to talk about the singles. It's a similar situation as to what happened with uh, Paramore. The first two singles slapped. Uh, Pass Nirvana is the best song on this goddamn record, and I will not be taking any objections. And Emergency Contact is really great. Uh, but then, even when I'm not with you came, and I was just thoroughly underwhelmed. Uh, it wasn't cringy. It, it just showed how they could be. And, um, yeah, they got a little cringy on this record. First of all, the interlude, I don't even know what the point of that is. It doesn't make any coherent sense. It doesn't flow with the album. It just gives you a break that wasn't really needed. If this were a really heavy metalcore record where um, the, the two tracks in between it, Resilience and Shared Trauma, were just blasting you in the face, yeah, I could see, you know, maybe taking a 20 second break and uh, giving us a moment to digest what we just listened to before we get shoved more down our throats. However, this isn't a very heavy metalcore album. Aside from uh, Death of the Executioner, Past Nirvana, maybe Emergency Contact, and Damn the Man, this doesn't go that hard as an album. It goes fine, but it doesn't go hard. It goes like... <laughs> it goes like, um, I'm trying to think, like Amu uh, by Bring Me the Horizon. Like, it's sort of moving away from the metal core and moving towards more just uh, Midwest emo, I guess. I don't want to say Midwest emo, but that sort of style, the acoustic. Um, which is fine, I have nothing wrong with that. But you have to do it well. And the last three tracks show off how terribly they do it. Um, Shared Trauma is just a really basic, like, love song about how, you know, your bond grows when you share trauma. Oh my god! Shut the fuck up. Um, So Far So Fake is really cringy, and I just want to, I just want to read you, um, just, just the bridge. These days I think are so strange. No cuts, no trust, no name, no names. Armless, we swim over flames. It's coming around this time. It's coming around this time. Pete's that. And he says, go to a rather mild, like, instrumental. It's, it's not good. I, I don't like this track at all. I think Vic, Vic could have done better, really. Um, and then there's 12 Fractures. Uh, or, sorry. What? And then there's 12 Fractures. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. Okay. <laughs> F. Which Vic does fine, but the featured artist really makes me hate this track. It's more mellow, and it's, it's, it's a final track. I get why it's mellow, but let me, let me read you this. We emptied our wrists on the dotted line. Now I stay on my side of the city. A refugee. No MTV. Oh, well, thank God for THC. What the fuck? Fuck. That doesn't mean anything. That Those aren't words. Those are just little things you blub together. And it doesn't help that neither of their voices really work on this type of track, uh, or at least work in this context of this type of track. Um, they don't carry, the instrumental doesn't carry, the lyrics don't carry. Nothing carries. It all just falls and expects you to pick it up and, and move it to its final resting place. And it's annoying, and I hate it. Uh, that is not to say there are bad, that this is all bad. I, as I said, the four tracks, those are my favorite four tracks. Death of the Executioner, the opener, cool as hell guitar riff. Um, it goes pretty hard. I, I, I don't love the lyrics, but the, the energy is there. So the, they can sell the lyrics, you know? Um, I do like the chorus though. Blood red moonlight gaining till you're over me. Beautiful as everything is crumbling. The flames dance off your eyes. That's kind of beautiful. I like it. Um, it's, it's really nice. I, I like it. Um, but, but other than the, the four tracks I named, I can't think of any other moments on this album I genuinely want to return to. Um, every other track is just really goddamn boring. And that, it pains me to say this, but Jaws of Life by Pierce the Veil is a four out of ten. 
thank you for watching. Um, I'll give you more updates on Rum Spring. Uh, I have an Arctic Monkeys deep discography review in the works. Probably not going to come out by February, but that's okay because you guys can wait. I'm probably going to skip my passion project. Uh, I'll push it back a little more. I have three going on right now. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Have a good whatever. Peace.